What's up guys, how are you all doing? Uh, today I got a little retail, I haven't done retail in a while, so saw these at Target, they're five bucks a piece. I uh, wanted to give you a little look inside of them to see if maybe there's something you want to pick up or something you want to stay away from. So I have two of these 30 card rack packs that we're going to open up. Uh, looks like there's possible alma maters, memorabilia, uh, and I guess some are prime patches, number to five. So let's not hold our breath on that, but let's open them up and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some colored parallels or something. Who knows? Okay, so if you haven't seen it yet, sure you have, but that, that is the base card setup. So Funchess, Fuller, Lankford, Tavon Austin, Sharp, Simeon, Melvin Gordon, Rob Gronkowski, Giovanni Bernard. We have a couple of what is going on here? Uh, we got Carl Lawson rookie card. Nice D hop orange or red, I should say, red extra points. And a Brandon Cooks red extra points. Uh, it's not numbered to 99. Raquan McMillan. Adoree Jackson, Jonathan Allen. Alma Maters. Well, see, yeah, <laughs> you throw in the Alma Maters. Did it to me again with, with the Prestige, but nice Melvin Gordon, Wisconsin native, so and Wisconsin alum. Carson Wentz and Jordan Matthews. Blue Chip Prospects, Corey Davis. Phenomenal Athletes, JPP. Interesting. Jordan Reed, Kenny Stills, Golden Tate, Jason Witten, Jordan Matthews. Mark Ingram, Tyler Lockett, John Brown, Zach Miller, and Latavius Murray, who was signed by the Vikings. All right, well, that's it for the first fat pack, so let's, let's try this one and see if we can get lucky. Okay, so we got Charles Clay, Theo Riddick, Crabtree, Adam Thielen, Thomas Rawls, Drew Brees, Paul Perkins, Jared Goff, Tevin Coleman, DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Washington, very nice, and a Jared Goff. Nice and shiny. Mitch Trubisky, Smoot, Peterman. O.J. Howard, stars of the NFL, Le'Veon Bell, hardware of Derrick Henry, banner season, Kellen Winslow, phenomenal athlete, Lawrence Taylor, LT, we got Dak, speaking of Dak, that whole thing with the, that's seeming, seemingly it's a scandal with the whole auto pen thing, that's crazy. Uh, with all the prism redemptions, uh, they're all the exact same size autograph, the exact same autograph, and there was a guy that had all four of the uh, gold vinyl number to five. He had four of them, sent them in to get slabbed once he got them from Panini, and they came back fake as fake autographs. So, yeah, um, that's huge, and I don't know if it's. It's either on Dak or it's on Panini or both. I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll eventually find out. That it's really unfortunate, though. Philip Dorsett, Julius Thomas, Danny Woodhead, uh, Rashard Matthews, Brandon Cooks, Darius Hayward, Bay, Baldwin, Bell, and Joey Bosa. So, guys, that's kind of what you can expect to see if you get one of these. Maybe you'll hit a, a mem card, which would be cool. If you do plan on getting some of these, I hope you do hit the mem card, and I hope it's a nasty one, number to five. That would be sweet. So, um, other than that, that is it. Hopefully, this gives you a good indication of whether or not you want to pick one of these up for yourself. If you do pick one up for yourself, I wish you the best of luck. Like I said, I hope you, you hit that nasty number to five alma mater mem. Other than that, thanks for watching guys, be back with another video soon. 
Hey guys, I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July today, spent it with friends and family, maybe blew off some fireworks, and ate a bunch of good food, and celebrated America's 241st birthday. Other than that, as I previously said in this, in this video uh, a little bit ago, this whole Dak Prescott thing with the autographs that have been auto-penned apparently. Now, Panini hasn't put out a statement on this yet, but... It is some pretty damning evidence. I mean, it looks to be the same exact autograph out of all these Dak Prescott Prism Redemption cards. And, I mean, it's it's really, 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 really damning evidence. I mean, they are the exact same autographs. I mean, one guy had, had done an overlay of like four of the autographs. They're the exact same. So... Here we have a situation where Dak didn't want to sign uh, stickers anymore. So, what did Panini do? To get these cards signed, they sent him out all the Prism cards that were waiting on him for, to sign. And Dak signed them, you know, uh, looks like they were auto -penned. Um One guy had four of the gold vinyl, number to five. And he sent them into Beckett or PSA, I don't remember. I think he sent them into Beckett, though. And they all came back as fake, fakes, auto-penned on a high-end autograph of Dak Prescott. That's ridiculous. So, once again, another Panini fail. So, Panini failed to get that sorted out at quality control. And Dak Prescott failed us by auto penning his signatures. Now like I said, Panini has not put out a statement on this yet, but it's right there. All the evidence is right there and it's been auto penned. So that really sucks. Panini's really really dropping the ball lately. And the the thing that really irritates me is that we really have no other option for new football product. All we have is Panini and I mean like like you all know Tops is gone for football. So um, the other day I went into the LCS and a uh, dude was there and he just ripped the box of Elite. No autographs, no mem card, nothing. No hits in the box, dude. It was crazy. So, I mean, I know it's like a, a thing with licensing, but I feel like after this whole DAC thing, once Panini releases a statement, what are they going to say? I mean, oh no, we didn't know? Terrible quality control. How do you not know that? And then on, on top of it, you have DAC auto penning his signatures maybe that's why he said he didn't want to sign stickers anymore i mean panini paid the guy to sign the cards and he goes and does this there's no nobody on this earth that could sign their name that many times the exact same way it is not possible if i sign my name five times it's going to be a little bit different each time so i don't want to hear any excuses for dak because that's i mean it's ridiculous. So that's kind of how I feel about it, dude. I don't think there's anything we can do about having just Panini, um, but hopefully Tops can get that license back soon or something. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to negatively affect Panini's ability for their licensing. I mean, it's like, dude, this is huge. This is huge. This is huge in our community. So, and if we can't trust the people that are putting the cards out, then what is the point? That's kind of what I'm getting at here. What is the point if we can't trust the manufacturer to give us legit stuff? So, I'm pretty irritated right now with the whole DAC situation and also with missing hits out of boxes. The dude bought a $120 box and was missing everything. No autos, no mem card. Crazy, dude. So... I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think below, but not happy with Panini, but hey, happy 4th of July. Hope everybody had a good one. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.